I got a qu- Assassin's Creed question for you. Okay. And it's about this year. So a game comes out this year. This year is okay. also the 10th anniversary of uh, Assassin's Creed 1. It is indeed. Now, I got a question. Because obviously, mm-hmm. they can't really release a remaster, right? For Assassin's Creed 1, like an anniversary edition, if yeah. we're getting a new game, correct? True. What if, is it possible, I think I brought this up before, is it possible that we get a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare moment where it com- the new oh, game yeah, comes... Oh, yeah, we have. We have talked about this. Where it comes with... Yeah, I thought so. What of the chain? My question is: Do you think it, uh, it's possible we're going to get Assassin's Creed One remastered with Assassin's Creed Empire? What are the chances of that? I mean, maybe. I. It's one of the things where I don't really mind, honestly. I, you know, if it, if it happens, that's kind of cool. But if it doesn't, I don't really mind. Like, would I, it be a selling I, there was point? A point for you? Would it be, like, a selling point for you to get the new game? Nah. You're obviously going to get it anyway, but would that add to your intrigue of it? Maybe. It depends what kind of a remaster it is. If it's just the Ezio Collection kind of style remaster, that was a kind of a novelty for a bit, but it really kind of wore off, and how I don't quick, care How anymore. quick did that wear off? Like, even the, even Assassin's Creed 2, how much better it looked yeah, for the first it's... two hours, and you're like, oh my god, this is amazing, and then you just get used to it, and you like, it looks exactly yeah. the same, right? And then you look back, and you're like, it's oh shit, it doesn't. It's one of them things... Where I think maybe if it's gonna be like that, maybe just don't bother because it's not that important to do. Like, yeah, okay, okay. it was good for the Ezio collection. Like, it's I like having those on the new console, higher resolution, better textures. Like, it's good. One, it is. It is a needed place, update in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's needed. It, I'm I'm happy it exists. But Summer, yeah. for Assassin's Creed One, I just like I mean, d- sure do it. Like, I, but like I, I don't really care that much. Really, honestly, like unless it's something big. Then I don't care because it's just going to be yeah. retextures, like eh, it's whatever. I mean, to, to me, having something that's because there was no game last year, so the Ezio collection was nice. But when there's a game coming out, I feel like it takes away from Empire in a way. Like this new game, I feel like they'll rely on it. They're kind of like, oh, we're also releasing this remaster, so the new game doesn't even have to be that good. Like I kind of want the new game to be all they release, so that's their thing. Like this game is good, like. But and that's it's it. Ubisoft. Do you really think they can pass up on a ten-year anniversary of Assassin's Creed without doing something I like don't this? You know, know what I mean? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, like it, to me, it's when I think about it, I'm like, I just don't see anything special happening. But at the same time, it's I Ubisoft. Ca- I like, can't imagine Ubisoft not doing something. What would they? I, it like is interesting. Because uh, I feel like to me, I always thought they would leave 2017 completely separate like there would be no game this year so they could do something really special but obviously whatever they're gonna do is gonna be mediocre because they've got a new game coming out this year like they can't do something super special because if they do something really special that takes away from their new game which they don't want yeah because their new game is going to be the big thing so it's got to be something really kind of average and that's kind of disappointing hmm interesting because, like, with the Modern Warfare Remastered, that game looks awesome. Like, it oh. looks really up-to-date and good. I'd see, I fucking Such hate... Such a know, good remaster. You know how much I hate COD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love the first Modern Warfare. Love World of yeah, War. Yeah, I agreed. even like Modern Warfare 2 to a certain level as well. I actually really like Modern Warfare 2. That was the last mm. one I liked. I hated Black Ops 1. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 was fucking horrendous. Um, yeah, yeah. But I want to play the Modern Warfare Remaster, but I will no way ever purchase another call of duty game in to get modern warfare one remastered oh god I, yeah i, no, I haven't either it. i can't I'm be like, fucked it's I'm not like, worth it i'm okay with dying never playing that remaster if it never gets separated i'm okay with never yeah, playing it yeah if it means i agree i don't have to say i purchase infinite warfare for it i won't do it i just will not do it mm. but I, yeah in terms of assassin's creed i just i just can't see them not doing something this year i can't yeah it's yeah i agree like it's weird because ubisoft they do it like i just think it's so weird how they've done things like last year they're like let's release an Ezio collection re-. like i don't i don't understand why it happened like it just doesn't make sense when we're so close to the re- like the 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 10 year anniversary of assassin's Creed one why would you release an Ezio collection remaster y- the year before like it's so random and then, like, they're meant to be releasing their big new game, their big comeback this year. 
having it on the 10 year anniversary in some way takes away from AC1. Now, I mean, they could just, in a sense, because it's been a year off, they're now bringing back Assassin's Creed in on the 10 year anniversary. It's kind of their big 10 year anniversary. They can commemorate AC1 and be like, look, this is when AC1 came out 10 years ago. Here's our brand new game. And it's better than ever. Maybe that's what they'll do. Maybe they'll use that as the selling point of the new game is it's, you know, it's returning. I don't know. I, I, to me, I just think it's weird that they would release two games in one year. I know they did it before, but like, <laughs> I mean, like, just it, it just feels weird to me that they released their big new game alongside a remaster of AC1. Like, because I, I feel think, like yeah. either way they do it is going to is going to lower the other one. Like if they try and make like if it's just a mediocre one, it's going to be like, why did you even bother doing this? Like it feels pointless. How crazy is it to think about still, man, that they not only went from releasing a game, year, they released two brand new games on the same day. How Rogue and Indy, how fucking crazy is that? Oh, God. What a shock that they they're both two. within the bottom four games. Yeah. Like, no surprise. Obviously, that was going to happen. Don't make yeah. two at the same time and release them on the same day, you fucks. That was stupid. That was really stupid. We should have known, crazy, really, shouldn't we? Crazy. Why I, did we? Just, why did we not even? I was. How much shit did I talk about Rogue though, beforehand? Then everyone. Yeah, we, then everyone we, was we, like, oh. "Hi, you're wrong. Unity was the bad one. Rogue's the good one." I'm like, "Okay, I'll play Rogue. Sure, I'll admit I was wrong. I'll go play it and see." Played. I'm like, "All of you, fuck off. All of you, fuck off." That was not good. That was just not as bad as Unity was on release, which it wasn't as bad. Again, I'll talk, I'll, I, we said earlier, Unity on release was the worst Assassin's Creed game of all time. But yeah. as of today, I think Unity is better than Rogue. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh god, it's weird as well. People have been people have actually been asking for something regarding AC One for a while. Like we're, every time Ubisoft or the official Assassin's Creed Twitter posts anything Altair or Assassin's Creed 1 related, everyone replies to the tweet and they just lose their shit. They're like, we need Assassin's Creed 1, we need a remaster, we need a remake, we need more Altair. Like, I, so many people want it. And they keep posting Altair stuff. Like, I don't know whether that's a hint or whether they're just so. doing it. I don't think so either. But a lot of people like, well, I'm sure they're getting post, on the... They're post- you know. post. They'll post plenty of stuff because it's the 10 year anniversary. Celebrate it. We should be talking about I mean, Altair. Yeah. We should be celebrating yeah. Altair this year. N- what I've, if, like, oh God, what if uh, people have said, like, what if it's a terrible Empire game to doesn't remaster. come out this year? And it, we, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. It's, what if gameplay was like, no, there's no argument there. We love Assassin's Creed 1, no doubt about it, but we love it because we played it back in the day when it was good. Um, the reality is it's not a good open world game. It's not a well constructed, yeah. it's repetitive. The only, it's really only 12 missions. I only like the assassinations. They're great. They make up for it. And it's easy to replay because I've already got all the viewpoints. And I don't have to do all that bullshit anymore to get the investigations. I can just do like three eavesdrop missions, like the easiest ones to rush and get yeah. the, the fun part. You know, that's reality is, you know, if you're going to remaster Assassin's Creed 1, you have to remake it from the ground up to be a yeah, quality exactly. open world game and you have to redesign that because it's just not you can't that's not a game you can that's acceptable to release in 2017 I don't care if it's a remaster it's not like Halo yeah. 1 that 10 years later you can remaster because it's just a shooter they don't mm. change that much other than graphics and smoothness of gameplay and if you make the graphics look better you can kind of accept that you're just shooting people anyway you can't do that with yeah, an open yeah. world game like Assassin's Creed 1 you have to remake it and that's too much work for them. It has to be its own separate thing. It can't be a remaster, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, if 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 they're going to remake... If they're going to do anything with Assassin's Creed 1, it does have to be a remake. They need to just completely just redo it and add more stuff and just make it... It's Essentially, just make it its own thing. And it'll be, you know, an Altair story. But, like, they're not going to do that because they're just not. Why would they bother? It's especially with, like... Because that's what people have said to me, people that are, like, super, like, you know, optimistic have been like, what if what if Empire doesn't come out till 2018 and 2017, we get a, an Altair remake game with his entire life, and it's like, that's a really good thought, but it's not going to happen. I can't see it happening. If it did happen, I'd be so shocked if yeah. that happened. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> 
interesting mm. thought though. It's uh, it's tough. It's a tough choice because I see why they'd want to do it for marketing for celebration purposes, but I just don't think it's a game you can uh, acceptably remaster unless you put it with like Empire. So it's just a novelty and it's not a serious thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could. Oh god, I just I, you know I, I don't know what I want <laughs> honestly for the ten year anniversary. Just. Nah, let's do whatever. Just as long as it doesn't take away from the, the game. new game. I don't yeah. want it to. I'm okay with I not getting anything. Be... I just don't think we will. Yeah, not get I'm anything. okay. I'm okay as well with that. But 